Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a lambda function using Python, Python 3.7 and this is a solution we're going to build today. So from our local machine we hit the gateway API endpoint it will trigger the lambda function. Our lambda function will go to our private S3 bucket, will list all the objects that reside there, will return the list of those objects or like the list of the object names back to a lambda function that lambda function will return that to a gateway api endpoint and then we'll finally receive the list of our s3 bucket objects on our local machine and again so in the middle there is a lambda function which is going to be triggered with the help of gateway api i will go to our console type in lambda okay create a function we'll author one from scratch we'll give it meaningful name as a hoist my very first this lambda function and I write it in Python rule now our lambda function will need a role which would have permissions to access our S3 bucket. So here we'll say we'll create a new role from, oh no, we'll, we'll say we'll create a custom role. So we'll basically do it ourselves. Um, mm -hmm. As always, we'll give it a meaningful name. So lambda here will allow our lambda function to read our private S3 bucket. So it's called lambda reads s3. Now let's see what it created for us. So by default, it gives lambda access to write logs, which is very useful. And I'll, I'll, I'll make another video on how to use that. But currently we need to extend that to allow our lambda to read from s3. I have this template stored here in my text file. So basically we will allow our lambda function to list our s3 bucket. And here is the name of our S3 bucket, simple as that. I'll just copy it over to our policy document and append it to this list. Allow. Good, now that has been created. Now we could also take a look at this, my very first S3 bucket. There's this bucket. And there I put two PDF files, my CV and a book on software architecture. Um, right, so we named our function, specified runtime option, um, gave it or created a custom role for it to access S3, create function. Okay, now something needs to trigger our function. As mentioned earlier, and we can see it from our diagram, we'll use the gateway API for that. So we'll list the API gateway. And now we need to configure it. So we'll create a new one, so a new API endpoint, the security. It will be an open API, so we can hit it from our local machine. But to not make it completely open, we'll use it with an API key. So it's an open API, but which requires a like password. And no additional settings, just create that thing. And now we click. So here you see unsaved changes. It's really important that you click save. And that's that. It'll take a second. Okay, so currently we have our gateway API endpoint. This is our endpoint. This is our secret key. And AWS already created a dummy lambda function for us, which is hello from lambda. So the lambda function has a function called lambda handler. So the lambda handler function gets executed whenever you hit your lambda function. So basically, you execute that function. Now that function takes as one of its parameters an event. Event, it's a dictionary of parameters you want to pass to your Lambda function. Now, for example, if we click test, it will ask us to configure that test event, so that test dictionary. We'll call it my test event. 
but really for our use case I don't want to pass any parameters so I'll just pass an empty dictionary okay create that so that created test configuration this is a really simple function so whenever we hit it it will say hello from lambda click test and it runs here on the top of your page scroll down okay status code 200 which means success and then the message hello from lambda okay now we'll try hitting an api endpoint from our laptop we'll go to api settings here we will need this api key and second later an api endpoint i'll copy over that to a text file just to compose a command so that's a curl we'll send a request that's a header so in the header we'll have a key which will be called x api key and our secret key now after that we paste the our api endpoint i'll copy that link because that is our command i'll copy that over to terminal okay hello from lambda so it's the same thing that we received here testing it out on the console now currently we identified that we can hit the gateway API and it hits the lambda and it returns us some sort of response. In this case, it's hello from lambda. Now we'll add this bit of reading objects from S3 bucket. Okay, now we're gonna edit our lambda function so it can access the S3 bucket and then read the file names that reside in that bucket. We'll use the Python module Boto3 to do that. That's a standard Python AWS API. Here, as I mentioned before, this is event. This is a dictionary that is being passed to a Lambda function. But in our case, we're not specifying any parameters. So we're not even going to use that object. Here, we'll define our S3 connection entity. Now we'll define our bucket. It's called my very first S3 bucket. Now we'll instantiate a list uh, which will contain the names of S3 objects. Empty one. And now we'll just loop through the objects in our bucket. And for each object, we'll append its name to the list. Right, now in the very end, instead of printing out hello from lambda, we'll say our s3 bucket contains following files and then out of this list we'll transform it into a string and the list values will be comma separated like that so basically our lambda function once triggered will output the content or the file names that reside in the my very first s3 bucket now let's save it test it here in the console it's running execution succeeded and here we see our two files okay the formatting is a bit off let's let's fix that save it test it Okay, so our three bucket contains following files, Dennis, whatever, another another book. Here I'll just open our S3 bucket to the web console in a separate tab so you can check whether that's true. Yeah, that's my resume. This is a nice book. Got the same files. Now we're gonna hit that API from the terminal once again 
Nice. Our S3 bucket contains four files. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. So basically, that is a working example of the AWS Lambda function using Python. Now we could play around and upload new files to our bucket. Uh, let's take something from a desktop. That's another <clears throat> book I prepared for the tutorial. Upload, success. Okay, now we have three files. We go back to the terminal. We hit our API endpoint. And now it's not only my CV and software architecture book, but also this Pythonic PDF that we just added. Hope it was useful for you and you learned something new. I'll be posting many more videos on AWS Lambda, like logging, handling errors, etc, etc. Take care.